Snickopy here with the reaction abridged of Hunter x Hunter. Yes, that's right. I'm almost positive that no one was expecting this. Among the 8 million things people were requesting for me, this was definitely not one of them. But well, first you might be wondering, Reaction Abridged, Nico, did, you've done these before. You call them Reaction Reviews. Why are you calling it a Reaction Abridged? Well, I'm doing a little bit, I guess, of a rebranding for the style of uh, video. So for those of you who don't know, I have done videos like this before, uh, and I called them Reaction Reviews. Um, I did it for the Danganronpa 3 anime, and I did it for a little series called Angel Beats. But after some thought, I, I sort of decided I want to change the name to be something a little bit more reflective of what this style of video actually is. And I think Reaction Abridged is a bit more accurate. Because one, it's a reaction series that is semi-abridged because I'm not going to be sh showing every second of every moment of the episode. Or you could also see it as this is a reaction with elements of an abridged series. With some of my own ad-libbing and voicing over random scenes and stuff like that. So yeah, I think it's uh, overall a, a bit better of a name. Makes a little bit more sense as to what I'm doing here. Now, of course, the other thing I'm sure you're wondering is, Nico, why are you doing this? No one no one requested this. There are probably at least a dozen games that people were requesting this, this last video, so why am I choosing to do this? And honestly, because out of the games that people were requesting, and I'm just being going to be honest with you guys, I wasn't really that excited about any of them at least not right now i'm not saying i won't be excited about them or that i won't check them out at some point but i'm feeling i think partially a little burnt on some of these rpgs that i've been doing and it's not that like i dislike rpgs now or that i don't want to play them and i'd expressed this in previous videos how uh some of these games that just take so much from my recording time only then to spend even more hours uh, editing it afterwards it was just it was burning me out. It was. It's just, it's really hard because these, these long hour long videos can sometimes take, you know, three to four hours of additional recording. And I just kind of wanted a little change, you know? This one sort of flips things on its head a bit more where uh, with these reaction abridged, I'm usually, it's usually a short, much shorter recording time. Um, but with a bit more time in editing, which I think sort of lets me, you know, express my creativity in some other ways. I know there, there are other things I could have done, like a visual novel, like Steins Gate Zero, and probably other stuff. But again, like I said, I just not, I'm not that excited about it right now. And I think if I go at it, a game or visual novel like that, with that attitude in there, I, it's not going to make for the best Let's Play. And again, I'm, I want to make clear, I'm not saying I won't check them out. But right now, I just, I don't feel like I'm in the best mindset for it, you know? So I wanted to do something a little different. Something to mix things up for both myself and for you guys, you know? This is how you prevent yourself from stagnating, you know? You gotta, gotta try some new and some different shit sometimes. So why did I pick Hunter x Hunter, though? So some of you were like, Nico, you do realize this anime from 2011 is over 140 fucking episodes, right? And yes, and clearly, I'm not gonna be doing them all right now all at once. I'm not going to be doing it like straight through all the way to the end of the series. No, I'm not that crazy, guys. I'm going to be trying to go by arcs. Or if if an arc is exceeding long, I may break those arcs down into smaller parts. So yeah, I'm not I'm not going <laughs> to I'm not going to go for 140 straight episodes of this, all right? However, that's it. Just even this first video really is a lot of in a lot of ways is me kind of testing the waters with this, you know? I want to see what your guys' reaction is to it. Do you enjoy it? Do you want to see more of it? It's a bit of a test video to see if people are interested in seeing this. And if people are, then cool. Then I'll uh, make some more of them. And if not, then I'll move on to something else. So I do want to get your feedback on this and, you know, see if you guys are interested or not. Now, in particular for Hunter x Hunter, why did I pick that instead of like maybe JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? Um, the reason was because, well, I'm a big fan of Shonen, which JoJo is, of course, as well, but I've heard a lot of great things about this series in particular because I've heard it really breaks the Shonen mold. You know, back in that video I made about My Hero Academia, I had so many people say, oh, you want something that really breaks the Shonen mold, Nico? Well, you better check out Hunter x Hunter! I also think it's interesting because there's at least a decent amount I know about JoJo just through the, the memes and all the stuff about it, but Hunter x Hunter... I know next to nothing about. Like, I really don't mo know much about this series. The only thing I know about it is like I, I I've seen the main character, and and just also that this is a very different kind of shonen, which has me has me interested. So yeah, I thought this would be uh, a fun series to to sort of check out and uh, see what it's all about. 
I don't know. It's an experiment, like I said. We'll see how it goes. So anyway, for those of you who have never seen me do these types of videos, basically what it entails is I'm going to be watching th through an episode from beginning to end. However, copyright's a bitch, and you don't fuck around with that. So what I'm going to be showing is basically the stuff that I actually react to in the episode. Um, it's also going to be shrunk down a little bit. There's going to be a bit of a frame around this, and there won't be any audio. But I will be putting my own little spins. I still will do some ad-libbing, while also reacting to what happens in each episode. Now, I do realize as a Shonen series, too, there's always a possibility that an episode might not have a whole lot in it. You know, the Shonens do love to sometimes stretch that shit out. So if, if that is the case, I might end up doing, you know... Uh, multiple episodes in a single uh, YouTube video, but we'll cross that bridge if we come to it. So yeah, that's uh, that's sort of the gist of this. So yeah, it should make for hopefully interesting series. I like my shonen anime, you know? I was a big fan of Bleach for a long time, uh, even though if that ended up being not very good, at, especially at the end. I'm a huge fan of My Hero Academia. Uh, I've dabbled in other things. I've seen some of Naruto. Tried to watch One Piece, but I, I, I just... I can't. <laughs> it, just, it just never grabbed me. And then you got other things like Rurouni Kenshin, Tenchi Muyo, which is a bit more of well, that's a bit more of a romance one in there. So I, I've been around the block. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not an anime king, but I, I, I know my way around some spirit guns and some kamehamehas. And I'm just kind of curious to see what, uh, what is so different about this series. All right, well, with that, let's get started with episode one of Hunter X Hunter. <laughs> let's have a look what we got here. Okay, now see, he's the guy I recognize. I, he's the only guy from this series that I know about and that he exists. That's all I know about him. Hunter X Hunter. It's got a cute tile. I don't really understand what, why do they call it that? It's usually like the thing you give to someone who's like, I want Kokichi and Kaito to get together. So it's Kokichi X Kaito. Are there two hunters? Are they getting ready to do stuff together? Okay, we got some colorful characters here. I think I saw Saitama in there somewhere. Oh, it's a fishing rod he's carrying. Okay. Now that guy there looks like he's from... That guy looks like a JoJo character, honestly. Oh, yes. And by the way, I'm I am doing the Japanese dub with uh, English subs. Just because, one, it makes it easier for you guys, so you guys can see the subs. And two, I tend to prefer the Japanese dub a lot of times. I don't know. <laughs> oh, my God. A big old furry ball. Hunter Ureo. Who People who want power. Departure X and... X friends. That's a little awkward to say out loud. Whale Island. Oh, it's even shaped a little bit like a whale itself, isn't it? Like the bit, the head's over on the side and his tail's on the right. Mm, pretty. We've got fish and nothing else here. <laughs> oh, hello there. Well, look at you wearing your big old leaf hat. Oh my God. I like how it barely covers his massive spiky hair. Whenever I saw like pictures of this guy, I always saw he looked, he looked a lot like Goku, all right? And I know someone's probably gonna be shit like, no, this guy, whose name I don't even know yet, does not, it's not Goku, Nico, but come on, all right? He's got the black spiky hair. I mean, it's, I guess there's a bit of green around it. Yeah, I mean, he looks a little bit like Goku. He's also got that young lad about him. He's definitely a bit more of a string bean than Goku was. What is he doing? Lord of the Lake. Okay, so gone. <laughs> gone, that's his name. He's trying to fish out a big fish so to convince his mom to take the hunter's exam. <laughs> gone. Oh my god, is it, guys, is this Gonta? Is this Gonta as a child before he gets raised by bugs and becomes incredibly diesel? Actually, you know what? I think if I co colored that guy's hair brown and turned his eyes red, he'd look just like Gonta as, as a wee skinny lad. <laughs> wow, what regiment do those bugs put Gonta on anyway? Just from this to that! Only once he became the ultimate true gentleman did Gon ascend to the level of Gonta! Okay, so he's just kind of calmly waiting. <laughs> I don't- Why do you need the leaves? I guess just to, to blend in a bit? I am one with the tree. I don't know if the fish is gonna be smart and be like, well, I see a big red ball up there, but wait a minute. That can be attached to a ball. He pokes his head out and see. Oh, wait, there's a boy there. No, you, you almost got me a little shit. I don't think so. And he fits, swims off. Or maybe he actually wasn't like that initially, but he's been sitting there for so long, the birds have formed a little nest around his big spiky head. Okay, you're jumping the gun a little bit, man. Come on. It could be any fish. Seriously, that is a string bean of a kid. Oh my God, look at him go. <laughs> Holy shit. That is a strong wire he's got on that thing. Pfft, okay, I guess that's pretty big. All right, I guess he got it. He just knew that was the one. <laughs> That'd be funny if that actually was the Lord of Lake. <laughs> I was just telling you, no, this is the Lord of Lake. He's only 25 feet long. The Lord of Lake is 26 feet. He's like, are you kidding me, guys? Look at this freaking prehistoric thing. Oh my god, you're telling me that little kid's dad pulled this out and they put him back again? Funny his little face, he doesn't look too upset, does he? He's just kind of like, hey, yeah, he's got little crab legs or something, little lobster legs. Oh my god, why? Why would you need the lobster legs, Mr. 
<laughs> what? Evolution Risa, could you possibly need those for? I'm guessing Mito is... Yeah, his mother, and probably not too happy, right? No, son, no! I told you that because I, I didn't think you'd ever actually do it! Wow. Uh, Mom? You gonna say anything? Okay. So his father's name is Ging, or Ging. Guessing being a hunter is probably exceptionally dangerous. I know it was for those Bloodborne guys! Son's gonna come home and just bathe in the blood of his enemies. Hey, Mom, being a hunter is so much fun! Look at all these cool weapons I have! This one's a sword, and now it's a hammer! <laughs> what? Okay. It's not quite the reaction I was expecting. Isn't Dad the best, Mom? He loves being a hunter more than me! That must mean being a hunter's great! <laughs> so he wants to do it to understand why his dad did it, I guess. Okay. <laughs> it's one way to look at it, I suppose. Aw, uh, little pinky promise. Ha ha ha! it's cute. Wow, he's really holding that note there. Oh no, the mom's gonna break it. She's gonna break! Well, I, uh, he's calling her Mito's son as well. Okay, maybe that's not his mom, then. Maybe just someone who's been looking after him for a while. Bye, Mom! I'll come back when I become the next Okage! I mean, when I become the king of the pirates! I mean, when I become the very best that no one ever was! Whatever, honey! Just don't come back till you do whatever that is! Bye-bye, people! Bye-bye, crying little girl whose name I don't know! How old are you supposed to be, kid? You look like you're, at most, eight. Oh my god, wait, what? Wait, do they not have, like, a- Do they not have, like, an age limit or something? Or, like, different levels of this? <laughs> Every else aboard is, like, this grown-ass man! With scars and savage shit. And then there's this little bright-eyed youth who's being tossed in the middle of it. Well, then with nothing, his little book bag and a fishing rod. Oh my god. Then we have Master Roshi over here checking out his porn collection. Okay, there actually is another child on this boat. Good. Good. Let's see, there's Cloud Strife. Over there's Geralt of Rivia. I think that guy over there is a creative character from Monster Hunter World. Uh, is that guy, is that his nose? Holy shit. Dude, you might want to get that checked out. Seriously, what is... Do you hurt yourself? Or is that, like, red from drunkenness? I, I don't know. That doesn't look good, though. Uh-oh. The birds are mad. Whoa, hello. He smelled something. Damn, I probably couldn't smell because I have this giant rash on my face. Wait, tell from his eyes what? See the next Super Saiyan? Just listen to me! Ah! <laughs> oh my god, okay, everybody's fucking dying. Uh, oh yeah, that's, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, old man. You about to die! Uh, oh, there you go. Holy, okay, yeah, that is, that is liftoff. He is flying. Hunter vocabulary. I don't know what that, oh, that's gone. Okay, gone. Wait, I, I don't understand. Is that like their own made up language? Or is that, yeah, well, that's Japanese above it, right? Yeah, yeah. But I can't read the Japanese either. Oh, good, if I, I keep watching this show, I can learn two languages at the same time. I'm gonna go to Japan and start spouting off this random ass language from this anime. They're gonna look at me and be like, You are what we like to call Major Dork. Hey! We could like to go by weaves, thank you. Ah, uh, see, if I aside from a few of those casualties, it really wasn't that bad, right? Let's be honest, you all knew you were on bot time the moment you stepped on this fucking ship. I mean, seriously, you see his nose? <laughs> and of course, the little monkey kid is totally fine. Here, have this herb, sir. Okay, I actually feel a lot better. What is this? It's a lock of my hair. What the hell? Uh, uh, why is this working? Turns out those leaves on his head before were actually just part of his hair. Ezra, does this old man have a cigarette inside of his pipe? <laughs> I don't think that's how it works, old man. What are you doing? When well, you like smoking cigarettes, but you don't want the kids to know that you're smoking a cigarette. So instead, you stick it in a pipe and it makes it instead look like a wise old man. When really all you're doing is smoking a cigarette through a pipe like a fucking idiot. Blonde boy and weird lawyer looking guy. I see, but they only they are unaffected by the tossing waves. Oh, and the, the weenie guy from before. Turns out he's not such a weenie after all. <laughs> Kurapika. He's got a very kind of general towel look about him in terms of his outfit. Leorio. Well, you tell me this little lawyer guy over here wants to be a hunter too. I kind of assumed he was like the kid over here's producer. I don't know. Oh, okay. So yeah, he did. He recognizes the kid as the son of King. The day has finally come. Oh, okay. They don't—they actually don't know each other. I don't know why. I, I i saw the two young men. I'm like, okay, they seem like they're probably going to be the up-and-coming protagonists. And this guy looks like a some guy who runs a company. I mean, seriously, I don't look at this guy and see Warrior anywhere. Whoa, okay. <laughs> it's a serious little guy, isn't he? Oh. Oh. Does this guy have some kind of say in the, the whole affair? Oh. Nani? Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> wow, really? <laughs> Just because they got sick from the ship tilting? I don't know, man. This seems kind of like a dumb rule, all right? I mean, I feel like you can still be a badass, savage, Spartan warrior 
and still get a little seasick when the boat starts tipping, all right? Maybe I'm just the, I'm the kind of fighter who only fights when I'm not on boats. Assuming that's what a hunter does. To be honest, I just don't really get what it is yet. I'm sure it has to do with fighting. This is gonna be like the tune-in exams or whatever from, from Naruto. Are we gonna become ninjas? Oh, last survivor. Oh, <laughs> that's a pretty savage line. I do not fear death. Only fear that my rage shall quell of a time. Ah, <laughs> wow, okay. I was gonna say the animation's uh, it's quite good. Very nice little art style for, uh, at least from what I've seen so far. Oh my God, his eyes are glowing. Oh, okay. So as a hunter, you can get access to information that you couldn't normally get, I guess it's just like a regular dude or a regular bounty hunter, right? What is it? Is it like, like this interwoven land of assassins and that part at the beginning was super vague it was just like do you like adventure and magic and fairies and shit they could become a hunter you tell me what exactly they do <laughs> hey old man talk to the hand <laughs> seriously look how much shorter god is than everybody else oh well there you go okay now that's that's the answer i would really expect from this guy look how sleazy and hollywoody he looks oh my god oh liquor some sake Oh shit, he's keeping count, okay. <laughs> what are you gonna do, dude? Smack him with your big old briefcase. File a restraining order. Oh shit, okay. Man, those two got some serious tempers. I mean, I could kinda get for the little blog kid cause he's like, you know, these guys came and just murdered my whole fucking clan. I'm a, li I'm a little on edge. But Phoenix Wright over here is just, I guess maybe that that every the everyday hustle of lorely life is really putting him up shit's creek. I don't know. <laughs> okay, you know, for a second I thought she was gonna be like, if you want to get to know someone, you gotta fight him. <laughs> I was gonna be like, what the fuck, lady? Seriously, <laughs> you gotta beat the shit out of him. It's the only way. I can't be this son. Okay, they might kill each other, but all right. Oh, okay. The tidal wave didn't terrify you, but that fucking tornado does. Oh my God, so guys. Hey, hello. You see the, the the giant twirling death needle over there, right? Now we're still gonna do this, apparently. Oh my god. Good animation. Look at the clothes all rustling and stuff. Oh, oh my god, that guy's got a knife. He's got two sticks. Are those nunchucks? Or Cali sticks? Guys, hello? Death is coming. Oh my god. Oh, oh, that's not good. Oh, go, God! <laughs> oh, there we go. Hey, see, we can work together. Get him, you little string bean. Oh, wait, no, he's still dead. Oh, well, we tried. Yay, okay, good. We didn't kill each other, and we made a friend. Oh, my God, that little that little psycho played that all along. He's just like, I knew you guys would catch me. That was a big old rest there, God, you little boogerhead. You might have died in the first episode of this TV show. Aw, oh, see? They could be pals. Yeah. Aw, oh, look at that. <laughs> no. Ah, now he's saying, call me Le Leario, instead of Leario's son, when he actually calls him that. Stop, you best of me. Ah, well, aren't you just a fickle little booger? Look at Gon's just sitting there with a smug little smile, like, ha, I did this. <laughs> he looks so fucking proud of himself. You did good, Gon. You made the two the two guys not kill each other, and now they're buddies. That <laughs> old man just over there laughing his ass off. <laughs> I didn't hear anything you were saying. I'm just completely trashed right now. I like how I bored the entire shift. Those three were the only ones really that looked any different. <laughs> Everybody else is like, there's generic pirate one and generic pirate two. <laughs> and then there's this green Goku kid, General Tao and Phoenix Wright. Oh, good. All right. Yatta. So began Gon's journey. Oh, there's a kid there we haven't seen yet, though. Oh, we got a whole bunch of, whole bunch of faces here. God, those all gonna be like the bad guys. Oh, we got a little cut there of a bunch of stuff happening. I guess can this guy like this guy makes me think of like some JoJo villain or mixed with Kefka from Final Fantasy VI. What in the hell is that thing in the background? It's like a giant turkey with wings. Wait, wait. I didn't think that one through. <laughs> Holy shit! This fucking song is like savage as hell. It keeps switching between like li 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 li, then suddenly it gets like s goes like full Skrillex. It's like ah, li, 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 li. stop yelling at me, little Japanese man. Okay, well that was uh that was the first episode. It was cool. They really like kind of jump right into it though. There was it wasn't like any slow like build up of I want to be adventurer. They got that down of the way in like the first five fucking minutes, didn't they? <laughs> We're not going to spend the whole episode talking about going out to search for the Dragon Balls or trying to look up Bulma's skirt or something. Nope. It's like, hey, I'm gonna do this, mom or not mom or whoever you are. I'm gonna go out and murder folk. And she's like, okay, son, I can't stop you. And run into two people on a boat that hate each other. Now they love each other. It's interesting though. I mean, I will say that the characters definitely feel unorthodox, if that makes sense. I like. 
I, I'm still not seeing this this lorely looking guy as like some kind of warrior, but maybe I'm not understanding this hunter thing correctly. It just it is it was they did kind of give it a bit of a blanket term. So maybe you're not necessarily warriors, maybe you're other things too. Maybe you can be a hunter analyst. I don't know, I gotta get more details on it, but I, I liked it. It was I was definitely uh, animated well and uh it was fun, so, uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. And if you want to see more of these videos, let me know in the comments, really. I, I wanted to hear your thoughts on this, if you like the idea of this. And yes, for those of you who are wondering, uh, for the time being, yes, I'm still going to be doing a single video. Uh, so it would be just this series for the time being until I, uh, have both found my editor and gotten the script for the next Council of Voices written. I don't know how long it's going to take me. Right now, I've narrowed it down to eight people for the editors. I still need to narrow it down further. All right, now I'm going through and like precisely grading everybody. Um, and then from there, I'm going to try to make my decision. I do really want to get back into making it though. So uh, I'm working hard. I'm working. I'm trying to work as fast as I can. And hey, if you enjoy these kinds of videos and of course my game videos, uh, feel free to subscribe and become a Peaky Penguin or the SSLP where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And hey, if you want to go even an extra step further and you really want to help support this channel, uh, please be consider becoming a patron on my Patreon. Even just a dollar per month really goes a long way to help me bring you guys the best content possible, especially with uh, with YouTube uh, really, really taking a big old stab right into my AdSense, which is just, just not gotten better. It is just not gotten better. And of course, to my patrons, thank you so much for your support. You guys are the reason why I can continue to keep doing this. Anyway, guys, as always, till next time, stay classy.